All right, Tyler, we're gonna have you ask your question first and then we will go back to Pete to ask his question. Tyler, we're going to have you ask your question first, and then we'll go back. Okay, to okay. All right. Uh, Javon, did you uh, have a feeling that tonight you and Ian might be on the same page like you were, or was that a little bit of an uh, unexpected surprise? Uh, it was an expected surprise. We worked on it a lot over the past few weeks, and finally to today we got the passing game going, and what you saw on display with me and Ian connecting was just something that we worked at the past few weeks and finally got to put it on display. And we will go back to Pete Sampson. Hey, John, I was curious about the, the beast mentality comment from uh, Coach Kelly. Is, is that something that comes natural to you, or that takes some time to sort of instill and play that way? Uh, it's a mindset. Uh, it's natural. Uh, it comes natural to me in the terms of the way you want to play on the field, being, uh, being in a dominant mindset and beating the opponent across from you every single play. Uh, that comes with that beast mentality, and I think I put that on a little bit today. We will go next to Eric Hansen. Hi, Javon. Uh, Brian Kelly mentioned that he gave the game ball to the team doctor and the team trainer. I'm wondering when you had 30-some guys out, how you guys kind of pulled it together as players, and, and was it ever a scary moment where you kind of wondered, are we ever going to play again this season? Uh, that was actually my first thought when – the operation shut down is if I'm going to play again. But the coaches, uh, they reassured us with what they said. We have a great uh, medical staff team with us, and they got us to where we needed to be, took the necessary precautions, and within 10 days we were able to get back together with the guys who were clear and then slowly work in the other guys who did get the virus, and we were able to play today, so very thankful for all of them. And we'll go next to Doug Farmer. Javon, you mentioned you and Ian have been working together for a few weeks in a frustrating and unfortunate way. Was that kind of a, a benefit to getting some more practices in before games? Uh, this goes up and down. It definitely was a benefit to get more practices in, having a little bit more time to watch film. But sometimes practice are rigorous, and you just got to fight through them but nothing that no one's up to the challenge to and nothing we don't embrace every day. We'll go next to Angelo DiCarlo. Javon, just uh, obviously I imagine you've been waiting for a game like this in your career. Probably one of the reasons you decided to come back. Just how much fun was it tonight for you to have the performance that you did? Uh, it was exciting. It was very fun. Uh, I wish I got a little bit more yak after the catch, but just being able to go on the field and beat the man across from me and get open, catch some balls, get some yards, help my team out, not just blocking, but in the passing game. Uh, it was fun, and I was glad I could do that with my teammates and uh, help Ian get a couple more yards in his stat book, too. All right. Thank you very much, Javon.